With all these cloud solves I've been running, being able to compare the results is getting crucial to my process. In the case of this Conrad example, taken from the sim training files, I've set up a series of three studies representing different loading conditions. Looking at them one by one only tells me so much, so instead we'll switch to the compare workspace, where I can view up to four different results side by side. And the best part? I can synchronize the camera view, result type, and even max min values so I can quickly and easily root out the worst case scenario, and where I should focus future efforts, like the shear load in this case. However, I'd venture to guess a lot of you would like to use the compare workspace to compare the same study setup run with different geometries. So let's look at how to do this with this beam. Here you have the initial design and initial results showing that the factor of safety is approaching 4. Depending on the application, you can interpret this as being overbuilt. So let's try to optimize it a bit. We'll make two changes in one fell swoop. We'll delete the holes and the middle supports using Fusion 360's powerful direct editing method. After I make the change and switch back to the simulation workspace, I get a blaring warning telling us the results are out of date due to the geometry change. Instead of rerunning to clear the warning and see the new results, we'll choose to ignore that for the time being and instead clone the study and solve it. The third design I want to try is to remove the varying thickness center member because, well, I don't know where to buy steel plates like that. This was done with four direct edits previously, so we'll roll the timeline forward to view these changes. Once again, we'll jump back into the simulation workspace, clone the last setup, and solve it one last time. Due to me solving these at each stage, and most importantly in the intermediate geometry cases, I'll now have the ability to compare the results for each case side by side. The baseline is in the lower right here, the second example above that, and the third design is on the left. In looking at these results, the second case appears to be the most overbuilt. Not what I expected, but that demonstrates how intuition, even for exemplary engineers like myself, may not always be right. <laughs> but I actually kind of lucked out. The final example is within a stone's throw of where I want it to be, with a factor of safety right around 3. This corresponds with the higher stress as well as the largest displacement. Had the first or second designs been better than the last, I could always promote an older version, because each time you solve, a new version is created automatically. With that in mind, another way you could compare simulations without cloning the simulation study over and over would simply involve opening the older version from within Fusion 360 or the web viewer. I'll use the web viewer here. As mentioned before, every time you solve a study, a new version is created and those results can be accessed even when you've moved on to version 10, 20, or 30. As long as you had solved at that iteration, the results will be there. The one drawback to this is the difficulty in comparing side by side, but there's nothing stopping you from opening multiple versions in separate browser windows. Anyway, I hope that helps. We're planning to add new ways of comparing across iterations and geometry in the future, but for now, use this. Thanks for watching.